Um, let's take a look at number 19. So consider the following cumulative relative frequency distribution. All right, if this distribution is based on 800 observations, then the frequency in the second interval is, and we gotta figure this out. Okay, so things I wanna point out. Here we were given a cumulative relative frequency and asked for a frequency. And if we think back to the beginnings of chapter one, anytime you had a frequency and you wanted to get to the relative frequency side of things, you would divide by the sample size. And I mentioned this because here, we're actually gonna start with the percentages, right? The relative frequencies, and we're asked to go backwards. So what do you do when you have relative frequencies, or in this case, cumulative relatives, but still, and you wanna go back to frequencies? Well, here is where you would multiply by the sample size. So if we can get to relative frequencies, right, then I could multiply that number by 800 and be done with the problem. The, the deal with this is that we were starting with cumulatives. So how do you go from a cumulative relative frequency back to a relative frequency? In previous problems, we would go relative to cumulative relative by zigzagging, right? And we would usually just sit here, you'd see me do this zigzag and we'd accumulate all those numbers and then write those totals here. Well, we need to go backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, in a sense, un-zigzag. So I'm gonna add to this, this is my fun little drawing here. I'm gonna add a column here and I'm just gonna call this relative frequency. And since I'm going backwards, right, I'm gonna put un-zigzag, this is not a technical term. But if I wanna go backwards, right, when I zigzagged, I added, so now I'm gonna subtract. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. What that would mean was this would slide over, right? This would start at 0.23, and then I would subtract. So I would say, well, what did I need to get from 23 to 34? If I subtract those two numbers, I needed 11%. What did I need to get from 41 to 34? Well, if I subtract those two numbers, I'm gonna get 7%. What about from one to 41? Right? If I subtract those two numbers, that would be 59. And let's say you were like, well, I'm, I'm still not sure. Well, just go double check yourself. Right, actually, let me do this in a different pen color just so we can see, oops, I erased too far. Let me just do this in a different pen color. All right, and we can just check that this would have come out correct, right? 0.23 here, if I zigzag, 0.23 plus 0.01 is 0.34. 34 and seven is 41. 41 and 59 is one, and that matches these, right? So if, if you're more comfortable, oops, let me put cumulative relative frequency. If we're more comfortable with addition, you can always check yourself at the end. But the takeaway here is that this second interval is looking at 11%. So let me go back to my main pen color. If I do 800 times 11%, that's gonna leave me with 88 observations, right? And so that is the frequency of the second interval. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.